So we'll start off by creating a new Flutter project. I can open up my terminal and run the Flutter create command to create a new Flutter project. I'll also add the organization flag and the name of the project. So which will be ecom. This should take some time to run. The project will be created. 129 files are written for us. And then I can open this project in Visual Studio Code. Okay, awesome. So now we will learn how to add Firebase to your project. So if you have an existing uh, Flutter project created or you can create a new one from scratch. Uh, what we have to do is we'll go over to firebase.google.com which is their official website. So the first step is signing in if you do not already have an account and once you are signed in you can go to console. So it should take you to Firebase console and you can start by adding a new project here. So we have to enter the name of the project. I'll go with ecom. And you can go ahead with the random project ID or a define a project ID of your own. Click on continue, enable Google Analytics, select a default account. This is only when you, are, you want to use uh, analytics in your project. And this should create a new Firebase project. Now once the project is created to add Firebase to your Flutter app, you can click on Flutter in a uh, you can click on add firebase to your flutter app and copy the commands from here open up terminal on your project paste it here if you are on macbook uh, you might have to add the path by copying and pasting this command So it says here that pub installs executables into home cache bin and which is not added to my path. So I need to run this command to add it to my path. And then I can run flutter fire configure and the name of the and the project ID of the project that we just created. Hit enter and it should fetch available Firebase projects. Now I want to set up Firebase for all these different platforms. So I'll just hit enter, but you can also unselect them by hitting space and hitting it again to, you know, enable the platforms. So I'll hit enter here. So it is asking that uh, the files will be up, uh, updated. Do you want to continue? I can hit enter uh, for yes. And then that should do it. So now it has added Firebase for all the supported platforms and we can come back here, click on next. And now we can copy this part of the code here. Come back, like close the terminal, come back to our main and paste it here. And we'll see an error because we need to also import Firebase core dot dot. For that, first we need to add the package. So I'll open the terminal again, run the command flutter pub add firebase core. This will add the package. Awesome. So now we can hover over this firebase and import firebase core dot dot. Also, we need to make this function asynchronous and also import firebase options dot dot with that done the error should go away let us check if it is working fine on an emulator so let us now try running this on an emulator so we are getting an error so when we try running this application, we get an uh, error here. This is because the uh, graded files that CLI adds are not latest. So we go down to Android build.gradle here. You see under dependencies, uh, there is this Flutterfy configuration part added here. 
and we can update it to the latest version or change it to 14 here save the file come back to main.dart try running it again you'll see your app runs fine but we get another error which is binding has not yet been initialized to fix that come back to main.dart and add widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized and again run your application and now it should work fine so now firebase is initialized inside your flutter app and it is working fine uh, so we talked about two errors one was with this widgets flutter binding and the other was inside android folder build.gradle you need to change this version number and that is it thank you so much for watching i hope this helps